So today I am doing a get ready with me slash first impression. I, as many of you know, I am a part of Birchbox and they have an amazing um, rewards program. And so I wanted to do is I decided that I would save up all my points throughout the year and get a holiday kit for with my points and I always wanted to try the beauty blender and they actually had this kit that came with the beauty blender the uh, here I'll show you the beauty blender itself the solid cleaner um, a Jouer moisture tint full size and a primer which I tried and I'm not sure how I feel about it it's nice it's just it's not the best primer I've ever used but it's it's pretty good and so that was around forty dollars but I got it completely for free because I saved up all my points which is really really cool and since I always wanted to try it because I hear about this thing so much about how amazing it is but never could bring myself to spend twenty dollars on this little thing so I thought I would do that and so I got it and I'm excited to try it so I'm going to go dampen this and then I'm going to start my makeup so I went to the bathroom and I got it super damp as you can see it's like four times the size it was when I showed you before so it does get up pretty big I just put it under some water squeeze it out and then I put it in a towel and I squeeze it a little bit more so there's no water in it so today I'm actually really getting ready I have my coffee here so you can see I'm actually getting ready with nothing on my face and I'm using all drugstore today which is really exciting and first I'm going to prime my face face and today I'm using the hard candy sheer envy uh, primer okay the foundation that I am using today is Revlon color stay in the color mahogany so I'm going to take my beauty blender and give this a shot. I'm really excited to try this. Um, again, I keep hearing about how great it is and how amazing it is. And the blender. Not the... So I put some foundation on my hand. That might be too much, but we shall see. And I'm just going to dot it on my face. I usually do this and then my problem areas I go over twice. Okay. And I have the hat to like keep all my hair on my face because um, I have been really doesn't do the job. So we're just going to line this up. It feels nice on the skin. I have another one that I use right now. It's like a cheap one from Marshalls by Precision, I think it's called. And it's a lot more um, dense than this one. So it's a, this one's like really spongy and light. I also have the Real Technique one, Real Techniques one. And I really like that one too. All right, let me get right here. I have to say, it's very. I do like the finish it gives. It does give like um, an airbrushed type look. So, like I said, I'm just gonna dot the areas that I need a little more coverage mm -hmm. and yeah we'll see here I it's funny it looks really big but it's not it's very light it's weird it's I was expecting it to feel heavier 
after just because it, I, I guess what's really good about this is it doesn't unlike the other ones doesn't soak up very much water so I guess that would explain why it distributes a little bit better okay so that's my foundation it looks really good I have to say I'm impressed I am impressed I am impressed now okay so now we're gonna do concealer and I'm gonna take Concealer, and I'm gonna use actually it's the, actually the Revlon, bleh, the Revlon Color Stay in dark, and we're just gonna go under my eyes and highlight a little bit. I really like this one. It's very creamy and goes on really really well. Just doing the whole, you know triangle looking like kiss sort of thing on the face on the chin. make sure you blend out the chin I always forget to blend out the chin so I'm going to take this tip part and I'm going to see how this blends out my concealer because this is the one thing that no matter what it is doesn't seem to blend out very well. How? I think what I like about this so much to start off with is how fast it works. Like, I don't feel like I'm spending a lot of time um, blending like I feel like with other sponges it not that it just it does what it says it blends awesome like the blending is incredible I'm just gonna add a little bit more under the eyes because I'm not the dark circles I have to say, I think I'm in love. I do like this one a lot. Now, is it worth the $20? That's the thing. Because I got this. I'm not like I got it for free. It's not like I didn't have to spend money to not get this. But, um, I have to say that, um, it's I like it a lot. It does soak up a little more product than the Real Techniques one because usually it doesn't look as dirty. But I have to say I'm truly, truly happy with this purchase so far. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with my makeup. <clears throat> So my makeup's all done and this is what I came up with, this is a little girl. And I have to say I really like it, the Beauty Blender. Is it worth the $20? <laughs> I don't know. I mean I got it for free so if, even if I didn't like it I wouldn't be too upset with it. But I have to say it is a nice little purchase and I have to say if you're gonna splurge on something this might be something you want to splurge on just because I found that putting on my makeup my foundation went a lot faster and my concealer went a lot faster and I would have to say it did save me time which is very valuable in itself so I would say get it uh, I would say purchase it now I don't know how long it's gonna last me this one but hopefully it lasts for a while because if it lasts for like a couple months I'm not sure I, this is my first time using it then it's definitely worth it because I wouldn't mind spending 
every six months twenty dollars on this little thing so yeah so is it worth the hype i think it is so thanks girls bye peace oh and i have my top 2014 coming up i have empties 2014 coming up and my favorite youtubers of 2014 coming up so it's gonna be a busy week guys all right thanks bye Peace.